Hey guys, so a little while ago I made a video talking about how to join a foreign or gaijin talent agency in Japan. If you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description somewhere so you can click on it and check it out. So basically in less than two years, I did everything from live TV. 77. <laughs> photo shoots, gaijin living in Japan type TV bits. But I want to talk to you about a specific genre today, and that is the saigen drama genre, otherwise known as reenactment drama. These can be low paying, long hours, not to mention crappy food type jobs, but a lot of times they're really fun. You get to meet all sorts of cool people. You can also get to travel to many awesome places in Japan, if you're lucky. So I really think that this is an awesome experience. So basically, these Saigon dramas are usually played on Japanese variety TV shows where they have like TV talents watching what's going on and they basically react to the story. And these are stories that are actually usually true. They're like global events that they pull off, I guess maybe from the internet or something. But they just report them and you as actors act them out. So they literally do almost anything for a Saigon drama. I've been in so many things like just the mention a few. I played a runaway Jew in Europe during World War II. Imagine that. An American Olympic swimmer during like the 1940s, 50s. An airplane pilot in a hijacked plane in India. And also a brother of some girl who really liked to drink blood for some reason. And yeah, that was a weird one. And honestly speaking, Saigon dramas are probably the easiest job you can get into because as long as you look foreign enough and your schedule's open, you can probably get the job without even auditioning. I mean, if I can play a Jew in the 1940s, it just tells you that they just need somebody who looks foreign enough. And even if you don't look quite close enough, they can fix that because I have a funny story for you. One of these guys in the airplane hijack terrorist video that I did, they didn't have enough Middle Eastern Arabic looking people. So they ended up getting some brown makeup on two of the actors and just putting it all over them to make them brown. In Japan, that's okay. In the US, we know that that would be some major lawsuits. But that's what happened, so I'm not gonna really talk anymore about that. Well, anyway, just talking about these people who did play terrorists, they were actually lead roles, and lead roles, you actually do get paid more, and you get speaking lines, of course. Now you might be thinking, oh no, I'm not a good actor. How can I do a main role? I'm not gonna be able to do that. It doesn't matter. You literally don't need any qualifications for this. You don't need any acting experience. You can be a lead role. Because even if you do get a lead role, you don't really have to even speak Japanese or English for that matter, because they're gonna end up redubbing it over with Japanese anyway. So you can literally say anything you want. Actually, one of the terrorists, when he was doing his little shooting people thing, he ended up just yelling like washing machine and no one cared. It doesn't matter. The only job that I did do that they didn't dub it over was the Olympic American swimming job. And what did they do? I was the only actual American, ironically I'm half Japanese, playing one of the roles out of 10 people. It was all these European and non-native English speaking guys. And they ended up having to do some English lines and here they are right here if you want to listen. Hey Jap. You're wasting your time here. Congratulations. You Japanese are great swimmers. But I don't even know if I'm disappointed. I think this is awesome. You can be Russian or French, and it doesn't really matter if you don't have an American accent. You can play an American without an American accent in Japan. And that's pretty awesome, I think. Anyway, I don't want to go on so many tangents, but that's the main gist of Saigen dramas in Japan. But you know, I actually have a question I want to ask you guys. This channel has grown to about 2,000 subscribers now, and I just want to know what you guys want to watch. You're my audience. I actually really read every comment you guys give. I'm getting ideas from some people, but what do you think? Um, I'm doing a lot of this stuff about half Japanese, but I can do more Japanese theme, culture. I lived there for four years. I can talk about that. I really want this community to grow. I really like where it's going. A lot of cool people are starting to join. So, you know, please as an audience, you guys are fans. You guys are awesome. Anyway, that's it. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.